everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a tutorial for Chip the Teacup from the Disney movie Beauty and the Beast. This will be my first tutorial of 2016 and I'm so excited to show you how to make Chip on your rainbow loom. So today the supplies you will need is you will need two rainbow looms set up in this position and you want to have five pin bars across and you'll just want to copy this position like this and I attached my looms together with the rainbow loom pin extenders. You will also want white fans for the body of your chip figure. You will want a gold color or yellow for the handle of the teacup. You will also want pink and blue bands just for a little decorative add, add in and here if you look closely you can see that I used clear bands for chips chip and you could do that or you could just make him a regular little teacup guy and he doesn't need a chip whatever you decide you will also need two small pony beads for chips eyes or you could always use wrapped bands so please set up your loom oh I'm sorry one more thing you'll also need your rainbow loom hook and you will probably you will probably want to have a holding hook just to keep the little nose on while we work on the rest of the loom but this is a fairly easy design once we lay the bands on the loom and i hope you'll have fun making chip with me today so let's gather our supplies and let's begin the first thing that we'll be making is chip's nose so i am using double bands for this entire project unless i say otherwise so all we're going to do is lay six, pan six pairs of yellow bands or gold bands down our rainbow loom. Also, I should have said this, but you want to make sure that your arrow is facing away from you. So once you've laid these six pairs of bands, we're going to take one band and we are going to wrap this band around three times. Now we'll just take our loom and we will loop forward like we're making a chain. So we'll go in under this capping band and we'll just simply loop forward. Once we get to here, we'll want to grab our holding hook and just keep this on our holding hook and this is Chip's nose. And this is the only part of the project for now that we have to make off of the loom. So once again, we want to turn our loom around so that the arrows are not facing us and your loom should be in this configuration. And now we'll start laying our bands on the loom and we are using two at a time. So you'll just take two yellow or two gold for the bottom of the teacup. And now what we want to do is we want to do the same going up a peg. Just like this. So now, once we get to here, what we want to do is we want to kind of create a little starburst shape. So the first thing we'll want to do is we'll want to grab double purple bands. If you don't have purple, I know I didn't say that in the intro, but if you don't have purple, you could just use another blue or another pink. It won't make much of a difference. So we'll grab two purple there, and then we'll want to put two pink to the right side here. Then we will put another two pink. Actually, you know what we'll do? We will grab two blue, I'm sorry. Two blue right here. And now what we'll do is we will grab another pink up here and another blue right. Oops. Just like this. 
so you'll want this kind of shape. And now what we can do is we can continue on with our gold bands or our yellow. So what we'll do is after we reach here, we will put gold bands going up one and now we'll start with our white bands. Now we'll move on to our white bands. So using double bands, we'll go to out to either side on the right and then the left or the left and the right. It does not matter what you use first, just like this. Now that we've gone here, what we want to do is we want to grab a couple more gold ones and we just want to kind of create a little line down these three center pegs, just like this with gold. And now the rest of them, the majority of the rest of the project is in white bands. So we want to have a total of five lines up of white bands, but I'm going to do it with you. So you just kind of want to start filling in with the white bands and I'm going to pause my recording and I'm going to tell you exactly where you should stop. Okay, so we have laid out one here. So now we want to go up four more times with white bands on the outer right side and then the outer left side so that we have a total of five. So one, two, three, four. And now up here will be our last white for this peg. And now we'll move on to the left. I'm sorry if I keep hesitating, it's just that I'm looking at the pattern that I took a picture of when I originally did this. So I just want to make sure I tell it to you guys right so then I won't put a band in the wrong place. So one, two, three, four, and now five, just like this. And now what we can do is we want to do, we want to go up four in the center. So I'm just going to fill mine in. So up four with white, I'm sorry, not four, because we have the one yellow. And this is not a fancy pattern or anything. We'll just, we are just laying the bands down like we would. So if you need to pause to catch up, please click pause. But We are just filling in the center now. And this is actually a charm that I'm doing upside down. Usually when I do my little people, my little dolls, I put the loom towards me, but this one was just a little bit different. So we have three on each one. So now we're gonna go to four. So this is what our rainbow loom should look like so far. So now that we've done all this, so this is what our loom will look like. We want to go to the center peg right here and we want to have our gold or yellow bands ready. So what we're going to do is we'll just push these bands down. We're going to place two gold here and now we're going to reach up and we are going to actually, one more thing, I'm sorry, we are going to place another gold no, I was right. Okay. We are going to stretch up like this. And now what we're going to do is we are going to place gold right here. So we just put two bands here. We stretched up and now we put one here. <coughs> Excuse me. And now on the other side, we are almost, we are going to do the almost exact same thing, but we are going to be using our clear bands for the chip. If for some reason you don't want your teacup to have a chip, you would just use the gold bands, but I want mine to be chipped the teacup. So I am going to use my clear bands. So double bands here, I know it's a little hard to see. And now what we're gonna do, we're doing the same exact thing, our little reach up technique. So we're just reaching across here. And now we are actually going to take double gold bands just like this. So this is what our basic band layout for Chip the Teacup is. 
And what we're going to do now, before we start anything else, is we're going to put a capping band here. So we're going to go around four times if you can. If you can only do three, that's fine as well. But four times usually works. So this is our band layout and now what we're going to do before we add our capping bands and start looping and our nose, we can't forget our nose, we are going to place our eyes on. So I just have, I'm going to move this out of the way to show you, I just have my little pony beads. So all I'm going to do is just slide the little pony beads through the bead, through the band, I'm sorry, through the band. And then, just like this. So now what we can do is we're gonna go from this peg and we will stretch this all the way out, separate our eyes and put it up like this. And now we can start by adding our capping bands. So now we have our eyes on, so now we're going to start by laying our capping bands. And I'm using just double white bands. And we are just kind of going to stretch these across the pegs to make kind of like a triangle shape. And this will just keep our bands together when we loop. Just like this. So this is what our loom will look like now. So now that our bands are like this, we kind of just want to move them up with our hook so that they make more of a triangle shape. And I'm not really sure if this would make much of a difference when we loop, but just because I did it this way the first time, I just want to make sure it's like that for you guys. So now we have to attach our little nose. So please take your nose off of the hook and we'll just stick it like this for now. Move it into the center. And we will attach this as we loop. So now please turn your loom again around again so that we have access to our capping bands. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just reach in through this band and we wanna grab the top two bands we see. And for me, these bands are being pulled forwards. And I grabbed one, but that's okay. I'm gonna go in and get the second one. And just take your time, just like this. Now we'll reach in again, and these next bands will be going to this peg. Just like this. Now we'll reach in again, pull these bands, to the center peg. Now we'll repeat the same on the other side. So we want to grab the top two yellow bands and we want to pull them forwards. Now we will reach in again, grab the clear bands, pull these forwards, and now the other two clear bands to this peg so that they'll meet the yellow bands just like this and now our chip is securely in place. Now we'll come down to this peg again, loop forwards, and now the rest of this for the most part is just looping forwards, but please just do it with me because at the end we will have to connect the whole thing. So 
So we have this band right here. And now what we're going to do is we need to attach our chip. So what we'll do is we are going to, we'll go in to these bands and we want to place our nose through this and put it back onto this peg. And now I'm just going to fix this by just placing this right here. So now our nose is securely in and we want to put it to this peg, but we are going to wait until we loop these forwards because we will pull this through again. I'll show you, don't worry. So right now I'm just going to go over here, loop forward. Oops. Over here, loop forward. And looping forward again. So now we'll come over here, forward. And now once we get to here, we will go in, pull this, and yeah. What we want to do is we want to go in through the cap right here, and we want to just push this nose on here so that it stays and it'll get locked into place when we loop this forward. So just leave it like this for now. And the nose might look a little bit different than what I did in the original chip, but it shouldn't be that bad. It should still look cute. So now we're in the peg with the nose, so we'll just grab this back, and now this will get locked into place. So if you tug on it, it cannot come off. So we're just going to continue looping. Like so. So now what we are going to do is we are going to just loop on both sides but please do not loop the gold bands yet and now we will come into this peg and go to the side just push it down and now what we're going to do is we are going to work with the gold bands so we'll just pull them forwards And when we take this off, you will be able to see the gold bands on the front, like the little edge of the teacup. So now what we're going to do is we are going to loop these bands into the middle. So we're just going to go in order. So it looks like the blue is on the top. Whoops. So we want to take this blue, put it in the center. And now we want to go in for the pink. Move these into the center. And now what we want to do is we want to loop these two out to the sides. So it might take a second to get in there and find the right bands. So... For me, the blue bands are first, so I'm just putting them out to the side again. And now the pink, like this. So now what we want to do is we want to, let me, yeah, we want to reach in, pull this forward. And now that we have this, everything's locked into place. 
So we just want to grab our gold bands and we just want to push this down as we go so that nothing pops off. But the gold band should be at the very bottom. And now just pull them here. So this was our final band that we had to lay. And now all that we have to do is put our closing band on. So we want to reach in through this. It's going to be a lot of bands, so just be careful. And we want to grab another gold band to make a slip knot. So I have gone through my charm and I pulled both loops up onto my hook. And now we will just make a slip knot. And before you pull your creation off of the loom, you just want to make sure that all of the bands are through this slip knot, which they are. And now you want to just very carefully take chip off of the loom peg by peg so that none of your bands break. So this is my chip right off of the rainbow loom. And he looks cute, but let's just shape him up a little bit. So we'll just push his little eyes through, stretch him out a little bit so that you can see that chip. And then what we'll do is we'll pull the nose out a little bit. And I'm very happy because if you can see on my original chip, the nose is pushed towards the side a little bit. And I got it in the center for this one. So I was glad I got to do that. Also, the bottom looks a little better this time. And I'll show you how to do this in a second. So our little nose is pulled out. Very happy with how this looks. I hope you like it too. And now, oops, I'm sorry, I didn't say what I was doing. We'll just go through the back of Chip, grab this band, pull it through, and here is our little Chip. So, a couple more things that we should do if you want. This is just optional. We'll give him a little smile, but I'll do that at the end. So, we want to make the little base of the teacup, just like this. So all I did for this is I used a couple bands and a clear band. So what we are going to do is we will just take a couple bands, wrap it around your hook as many times as you want. I am going to do, I think, two more. If it fits. And now I will grab a clear band. So now what we will do is we're just basically going to play around with this. So I'm going to go in through the side, grab this, and now I'm going to go in through the other side, grab the other side, so that we have something that looks like this. And you can make it look however you'd like, but when you are satisfied, I'm just going to make another slip knot. And here we have the little base of chip. So this is what it looks like, our little base. I hope you like it. And now the last thing that we can do is we can make Chip's mouth. So for this part of the project, for Chip's mouth, you'll just need a black band, some scissors, and some crazy glue. So here's my crazy glue, here's my scissors, and here's my black band. So I'm just going to snip it. And you can decide how big you want your smile to be. So this might be a little big, but let's see. And you can decide which side you want the smile on. I put it on the right side on my first one. So, I'm 
You know what? This is a little big. Just because the nose takes up a little more space here. So now I have something like this. This looks like a cute little smile to me. And I'm actually going to put it on the left side. So all you want to do is you want to just take your crazy glue and you want to glue that down. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm not going to show you because sometimes it takes a little bit. But I will let you know what it looks like when I am finished. So here is our little chip doll with his mouth all glued on. And I hope you like how he looks. So I hope you had fun making chip with me today and I really hope that you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if you have any, if you see any other design on my Instagram that you would like me to make a tutorial for, please let me know in the comments. I hope you have a great day and please subscribe because I am going to try to release more loom videos hopefully one a week or every other week as the year progresses it just depends on my college my school how much work I have but I really love making these designs I love looming for you and I hope you have a great day and thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time bye everybody